Welcome everyone. Today we have the flying event available on the Adrian server just now. So let's have a look at this. So what's happening is the flying event is available and you can see all the rewards here. But if we go into the details, you're going to see the first obstacle course. Now on the first glance, I was like, hey, it's only 30,000 primal gems and a book. That's not much. But you can see over here, there's 60 primal gems. There's 30,000 of the Mora and also a talent book and also experience books. So this is a very generous reward actually. And the second thing I noticed is that this event doesn't take long. So if we're getting 60 Primal Gems for each of the obstacle cores for the 7 days, we're looking at 420 Primal Gems, which is very nice. And also we're looking at a lot of Mora because each of the obstacle cores gives Mora as well. So you get all three by completing a high score. This is my current high score after a few attempts, and I'll go through the event with you guys. So once you log into the game after the daily reset, what you're going to notice is there's going to be a new quest, a new side quest, which is on the blue color. And the quickest location will be on this particular web point. And as you travel there, I would recommend having Kai on the team just to have the reduction to stamina as you run. And you do want to have the full stamina when you get there. So I'm currently using Kaya, I'm using Amber, I'm using two animal characters, and also I have the food item, the Barbatos Restitui. I don't think we need that much for the stamina reduction because the course obstacle course itself is not too long. It's about how you maneuver this and how you actually go about with it. So you can see I'm having Kai. I'm I'm so prepared. <laughs> I have the you know the I have the resonance. We have the food. We have the gliding champion. We have everything. So I'm gonna show you guys a few attempts. I want to try everything. The first thing is you'll be getting ten thousand Mora and four books for starting this quest. So right away, you can see the 70,000 Mora, a lot of experience books and 60 Primal Gems on the first day. And basically, you talk to the NPC, the quest gets started, and he's like, you know, try that out. This is one of those NPCs that have a lot of those flying quests that give a lot of chest. But this one is a special event quest. So first thing is you have to activate this and then you start gliding. And as you glide, guys, I was testing this for several times. As you're gliding, you get a special button. By pressing E while you're flying, you can fly upwards. I thought it's about when you land on the floor, you press E and you fly upwards. No, that's not, that's venti, so you don't get that. But what you get is, while flying up, if you press E, you drift upwards. It's very important to know because this saves a lot of time. Now after this, what you're going to see is, you're going to see another new button. So this time, if you hold down the left mouse button for the PC, and I think there will be a button on the mobile, so you gain the sprint ability while flying. So as you collect those animal green particles as you're flying, if you collect enough of those, you charge up the ability. This can charge up to two full sprint. So you can charge quite a bit. And what you want to do is, as you're flying directly, you want to fly quickly forward, you hold down the mouse button, the left mouse button for me. And basically you can fly upwards, you can fly forward. And those are the two new mechanics. After that, it's pretty simple. I had the, you know, the stamina item. I was like, let me try the 20% stamina direction. I didn't use the best one. So I was like, okay, let's give it a try. This is my first attempt. And during this attempt, I'm gonna try a few things. I'm gonna try, you know, how we work with Ember. Then you can see right away, there is the obstacles, oh, sorry, there is the particles which you can collect. As you collect those, you're gonna see a special bar on the left-hand side. Those are the energy bars for flying. And once you charge this up, you can hold down to the mouse button or you can fight directly. You also see some of those rings and the, the coins. The rings are essential items. You want to collect the five essentials because this will determine how much score you get. And how you, we'll, we'll talk about the score after. And also, as you go through those speed rings, if you go through those, they make you faster. It's important we collect all five of those coins and also have the quickest speed. Now, during the first round, I was trying to test different things. I wasn't sure what E was for. I thought it was to get me fly up. So very soon, you'll see me try to test it out. And notice I missed my fly. During this time, if I press E, I would have had an updrift. I would have fly up. But not knowing that, I decided to land and decide to try things. Now, it's very important to use this as a demonstration. Try to not use a weak character with no level. My Ember have only level 8. And there's monsters on obstacle course, and they will hit you. If you have someone like Ember who is no level, they will die. It doesn't have to be Ember who's flying. You can use anyone else that's flying. As long as Ember's on the team, you get the stamina reduction. So that's my first mistake. And, you know, 
Second mistake is I refuse to use venti to fly upwards. I'm trying to use the space and also the fly up. You cannot. You must be gliding to use the E special E spell. Notice the E spell changes when I jump up. You must be gliding to use a special E updrift. So go onto a small ledge, then use the glide a little bit, then press E, then you fly upwards. You can't just jump and fly upwards. And the last thing to notice is, you'll see it very soon, I have failed. So after landing on the obstacle course, if you go onto the floor for about you know, 20 or 30 seconds, or maybe less than that, maybe 10 seconds, if you're on the floor for a long period of time, you instantly fail. So what you want to do is, if you want to, if you don't want to fail is, you go onto a small ledge, then you jump, and then you press E to fly upwards. And as long as you're in midair, the timer will continue. Notice my timer never finished, but because I was on the floor, I failed. And it's very important to know this part. Now, after that, I tested several rounds to see a different way of failing. I won't show you guys all of those ways. So basically, you have to go to the obstacle course. You cannot take shortcuts. You want those coins because that's what the coins are designed for. If you're on the floor for too long, you'll fail. So I failed like 10 times just to test things out. So after failing many, many times for science, I decided to do this properly. Notice my food is still available. I'm not using a weaker character. I'm using Venti. And I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. Right away, I missed a lot of those obstacles and a lot of the not obstacles, the particles, but it's key to get the coins. It's okay to miss the particles, but the key is to get the coins. Notice that this time, I'll show you very soon, I'll use my E up drift just to test it out. Notice I use the E up drift on the run timing. So if you press E, you'll fly upwards. It has a 10 second cooldown. So use it carefully and use it, you know, opportunistically. Keep in mind, you want to get all the coins. Those are the important ones. The green ones are okay. So here I use the E okay. And notice as I get more green of the energy, my energy goes up, I can press, hold down the mouse button, I can fly quickly forward. And this increases my time and speed. The obstacle course itself is not a difficult one. It's actually pretty straightforward. So they want you to get the primal gems and everything. So that, that was pretty good. I had two, two minutes and 11 seconds remaining. And you can see the coins over here. So those are the two things that determine how much score you get. So the first one is the golden coins. You need all five of those must. Otherwise, you probably get lower scores. The second one is you want to be as quickly as you can. And to do so, you want to use the speed correctly. You want to use everything correctly. And on my first try, when I tried it you know, properly, I actually got the highest score I got. Now, you guys might be wondering, hey, what if you want to get higher scores? Could you try again? Yes, you can try again. So on this replay, I'm trying again, and I'll show you guys this attempt is not as good as the first one actually, because what happens my first attempt properly was actually getting me high scores. I'll just show you guys the end part of it. It's pretty straightforward. So after you're trying again, you're gonna see the calculation of the timing, and notice last time was two minutes and 11 seconds. This trial was about two minutes and six seconds. The five second difference actually is the difference of to about quite a bit of points, Last time I had about 35, 700. This time I had about the 120. So I think about the five second difference, you get about 600 of 600 points difference. So in case you guys want to know the finer details, I wanted to test it out for you guys. And there you go. All the tips, all the guides for flying upwards, flying directly, and don't land yourself on the floor. I do not think we need all the characters for the stamina reduction for this one. At least, this is probably the beginner one to get us to used to it. Later on, we probably need the food, we probably need the characters to have the maximum efficiency. So let me know what you guys think about this flying event. I'm pretty excited for it. It is a little shorter to my taste, but I'm really happy for the rewards. To summarize this gliding event, yes guys, we'll be getting about 720 Primal Gems, about half a million Mora, and also this event is very quick. It doesn't require any reason, and it's pretty straightforward. The first one is quite easy. You can finish within two minutes. And yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you th guys think about it. And let me know your best scores. Currently, my best one is 35,720. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. And f have fun. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with Catherine and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.